in a restaurant? And he said, then we're at an impasse. Steven, no, we are at an impasse, okay? I love you, but Steven, Steven, your beast is sick. Your beast Watch it. is sick. Watch it. Watch it. I'm gonna let go, I'll get what you need to get. And I, I need some space. We need to just talk Yashar Ali uh, released some of this previously unseen footage, apparently at the home of Steven Crowder, along with his wife, as they argued about the use of a car. We'll get to that random argument in a second. But what people noticed was the way he was talking to her. As you can see, she's uh, extensively pregnant. I think they said about eight months there. So what it did show was the extent of this emotional, and they said, and verbal abuse that he hurled at her pretty much uh, as they're claiming on a regular basis. And uh, since he's now coming out talking about Candace Owens that has come from him and the defamation he wants to go for, and then her responding back and saying, oh, hell no, it's not going to be all this, the fight is exploding. And then here comes this type of evidence. Here's more of it. No, you're not taking the car. Steven, you're not taking the car. Steven, you are not taking the car. Then I will ask someone to pick me up. Would you like me to ask? Oh, that's right. It's not a threat, Steven. Give it an Uber. Okay, Steven, I can't. Feeling some constraints? No, that doesn't work either. You'll be back when you're back. That doesn't work either. See? The only way out of this is discipline and respect. It's the only way out of it or we're at an impact. We are at an impact. Good. Because you can't have any discipline and respect. But Stephen, Stephen, your beast is sick. Your beast Watch it. is sick. Hillary, you're right, we're at an impact. You just said I love you and committed to that. Walk the dogs, put on some gloves. I need to Walk the dogs, put on some gloves. Are you committed enough to do those things? Are you committed enough to do anything? Are you committed enough to do anything? I think she's not. Don't you take take that in. So folks uh, are also reporting that apparently, as you saw at the back end there, he allegedly uh, said, I will F you up once they were inside. Folks are circling that wasn't seen on the tapes, but that's what also is being talked about. So some of those details, as the numbers, I'm sorry, the dates and times went around uh, for when this happened versus all the talk about divorce, here's those details. Hillary Crowder filed for divorce in December of 21 after she learned that her husband had hired a divorce attorney a month earlier. So maybe he was on that path. Hillary Crowder welcomed twins via C-section in August of that year. And despite her best efforts, apparently her husband was absent when their twins were born. Instead, he met with uh, their newborn twins later that day at the hospital. But the night before she gave birth, Stephen and Hillary exchanged a series of text messages about separating. She sent her husband one of those final messages saying, Stephen, I'm afraid of you and your rage. You're scary. You scare me. I want to heal things, but if you have to take respons- but you have to take responsibility. Stop blaming others. Stop feeling pain and sadness only for yourself. Again, maybe these things are being uh, are illustrating some of the things behind the scenes that then, of course, led to Stephen talking about all this on his show and bringing up Candace Owens and then saying also, you know, we don't have to bring up the kids and uh, there's a divorce process happening and people's ears started perking when they heard him say, and it's odd that in this state, they allow someone to file for divorce without my permission. <laughs> that was the weirdest part about this whole thing. But still, the stress was all over him. Uh, so from those couple of first uh, uh, videos there was of uh, what people saw as this abusive verbal behavior, I don't know, there's so many areas to cover because I'm just uncomfortable seeing it. And then also when you see there's a victim like this of it, I'm glad for her that she at least has some kind of you know, Excuse me. proof here. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm actually surprised that these dudes believe that the nonsense that they spew on the Internet. Uh, yeah. I, I I feel kind of naive to think that these are guys that, you know, are finding suckers online um, and using them to build money out of them and audience out of them and can't possibly think that this kind of behavior is acceptable in real life. Only this dude is, as they say, he's living his raps. Um, this dude was actually out here verbally abusing the mother of his twins. I mean, it doesn't get more repugnant than that. Like, this is inexcusable. Um, and, it, like, if, if you sort of read these words, you wouldn't even uh, think that they were as bad as they are. But listening to this guy speak to this woman this way as if she is, like, below him and beneath him while she is literally carrying around this man's children. Um, this is low, JR, even for this kind of, you know, internet, trolly, idiot type of dude. I think you're muted, bro. 
I think people are starting to agree with you, Waz. And the odd part about this agreement is coming from many of these folks who support Stephen Crowder, our colleagues of Stephen Crowder, and they're beginning to realize something as we go to graphic six. Let's jump down to graphic six, you guys. What I'm real, what they're beginning to realize is some of these conservatives are like, they're discovering what. Uh, the difference is between what they keep calling cancel culture that's just wild and starts cutting people out because they made a little mistake or they had one misstep and didn't really mean anything to actually want to distance yourself from disgusting, horrible people. One of those is Brandon Morse. He said, I've known Crowder for a long time and I've always respected him, uh, but I can't defend what I saw in that video about him. My wife and I have had some spats where we've said things we regret but that was more than just an angry back and forth. So he's disturbed by this. Also, uh, Cernovich, like Cernovich said this as well, free life advice after seeing that. If you're on a ring video being not nice to your estranged wife, listen to her lawyers when they say that they want this all to be kept private for your kid's sake and do not do a massively viral video blaming her for divorcing you. Isn't this odd? So are they canceling him? <laughs> Is this ending his uh, a possibility of, of earning more financial wealth throughout his life? Because, you know, those libs like to cancel everyone at a moment's notice for doing things like uh, abusing women and children and lying and all these types of things or or, or, uh, or or grifting off of their audience and not really meaning the things that they say on Fox News before they're busted for it and have to pay up $787 million. So now they're finally realizing what the difference is but it's because now they have to probably try and save their asses from being surrounded with this type of stuff. One of those people that apparently is on this cancel culture train is one Candace Owens, and she responded yet again after all this was going down. Watch her. There was a lot of things that are going on, and I am glad that his wife found the strength to speak out, and I'm calling upon everybody to roundly condemn this. And on that note, for those of you that are asking for an update, yes, I did send a cease and desist to him regarding his comments that I somehow extorted him. I sent the cease and desist, I heard back from his lawyer, made thinly veiled threats directed at Mr. Crowder that she would release the alleged dirt she had on him if he kept making statements about the Daily Wire. Mr. Crowder's opinions fall short of any defamation. At most, he has merely opined comparatively the feeling of certain misconduct to his own present state of being, even within the larger context in which it was used. The most reasonable implication is not an accusation of crime, but that threats have occurred that fall short of being a crime. These are his feelings. They are not facts. And his opinions are protected. Um, by the way, his lawyer offered to me that we could both agree to a ceasefire if I agreed that I would never speak about Stephen Crowder again. And to him, I would publicly like to say, your client doesn't have that kind of money to keep Candace Owens from speaking out about things that I find to be absolutely despicable. And that's all I'm going to say about that. Was things that are absolutely despicable is different apparently than cancel culture. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it, it shows that even these people's uh, gutlessness and shamelessness has a limit. And you know what I would say to Steven Crowder, uh, I would peel, I would appeal to this guy's humanity um, and say, hey, bro, come clean, come clean, apologize. Take steps in your life to do better and be better um, and be worthy of your friendships and relationships in the future. Because if Candace Owens and Cernovich see your behavior um, being so disgusting that they have to publicly denounce you, you know you have reached rock bottom, my brother. Like, it just... You got to you got to burn it all down and start all over. It, it could be a moment of clarity to realize where it is that you are cuz of course everyone has their own bubble it just depends on how out of touch Owens? it is. <laughs> I mean, damn. Yo, she can't, she can't be bought. Uh which by the way <laughs> apparently would be a lot of money, which leads me to my last thought. Oh my god, it's 2:30. Which leads me to my last thought. Um how come they got one car? In the multi he turned down a 50 million dollar deal with whoever it was but they got one car and they're fighting over the car, the Volvo. Come on, come on, Jay, don't do this. I don't know. I don't know. No, dude, don't do this. You calling, you calling this man broke? What's going on here? I just think there's some kind of control over maybe how many things are in the house. Oh, you're saying he's doing something sinister. Like you don't, you're not allowed to have a car. I wonder, I'm asking. I thought you were saying he was a broke boy. My bad. I just don't know why this family that has tons of money doesn't have more than one car if they both need to use a car. 
it sounds like there's a lot of control going on there. Again, I'm speculating. I have no idea what's happening, but I'm just I'm curious. 